Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about uh, KMS, and KMS stands for Key Management Server. And the only reason that I'm doing this video is I actually did a video a while back, but on this video, I'm going to be dealing with Windows 10, how to activate your Windows 10 machines using a KMS server. I'm building this on a Windows Server 2012 R2 because it made it so easy. It is actually an add-on or a feature that you can install. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, before I even start, I want to let you guys know that I can't really complete this uh, video 100%. It's going to be done in 95% because I'm still waiting for my KMS uh, key, my Windows 10 key to show up so I can actually activate it. But I want to get you guys up and running as much as I can. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go into this particular website, which I'm going to place the link at the bottom of the description. And you need to download this KB. Now this KB is actually uh, 305 8168. And it's a hot fix for your KMS dealing with Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Server 2012, uh, Windows Server 2012 R2. Uh, if you push out up, if you push out your updates daily, or you always push your updates on your servers, you shouldn't have a problem. But if you're missing this update, download the hot fix, install it. And I'm going to show you guys within my view update history. I have it already installed successfully, so that's awesome. I'm going to close that up. And what we need to do is we need to get into our server manager. Uh, you want to click on manage, add roles and features, click on next, next, next. And within the roles section, you want to go all the way to the bottom where it says volume activation services. Just check that off. Uh, you want all this stuff, just add all the features. Click on next, click on next, next again and install all right so installation is somewhat completed successfully uh, if you look right here on your server manager you have a nice little exclamation point like a little uh, problem uh, because you st you still need required um, configuration steps to complete your volume license server so what we're going to do is we're going to close this up we're going to go here in the little notification area and we're going to click on volume activation tools so it brings this up so you have two options. You, you can actually uh, base your volume activation method using Active Directory Base Activation or KMS. Uh, from here, uh, you, if you want, you have an alternative credentials. I uh, don't have. I'm going to click on Next on that. So it's going to retrieve all the information. And from here, this is where you install your KMS host key. Right? Uh, I can't do it. And that sucks that I can't do it because I'm still waiting for my KMS request to go through for Microsoft to send me the the 25 character number so I can enter it here and um, activate my KMS. So when my Windows machines are added to my Active Directory and they start talking to my network, they automatically get activated with no problem. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I do apologize for not completing it 100%. Again, I'm still waiting for my... Uh, my KMS host key to come in. Once that's done, I'm just going to enter it here, complete the process, and that's it. That's it. That's all you have to do, guys. If you got comments or concerns, leave them at the bottom. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.